Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about table aliases and multi-table joins. So why do we use table aliases? Well, as joins get more complicated, it makes sense to use table aliases. Remember, table aliases is a way of renaming the table name, giving it a shorter name, and it makes the SQL easier to read. It also, since it's a shorter name, you're less apt to make a typing mistake. And when you're working with multiple tables uh, that have, especially those that have um, maybe the same columns within them, it helps avoid ambiguous column names, meaning are you picking the business entity ID from the employee table? or from like the person table by being able to use an alias and always prefixing the column name with that alias you know exactly what table you're grabbing the column from so let's look at some examples so here's a table alias example in the top here you can see an inner join that we've worked on in the past where we have specified the join using only table names. So we're selecting the first name from the person table, the last name from the person table, the phone number from the person phone table, and we're getting that from the person table, the person phone table. The join condition is on the person, and the person phone table, and we're matching business entity ID. So there's a lot here. It can be simplified by using aliases. It kind of tightens up the SQL. And how we do that is by putting the alias at the end of the table name. So here we have select and then from person.person. .person. So this is the same. And then we're saying what's called the person table from now on P. So by doing so, we now select P dot first name. So it's first name from the table alias to P, last name from the table alias to P, and then we got phone number from the table alias to P, P. Well, that's interesting. What's that table? Well, if we go down into our inner join, we'll see that we are doing an inner join on person dot person phone, and we alias it with two P's. So now, when we reference any column from person phone, we can just use P, P as the alias. So we have, for our join condition then, a join condition on table alias P dot business entity ID equals that from the double P dot business entity ID. I personally think this makes it easier to read it's easier to type. I'm less apt to make mistakes. I will caution you though that if you start using aliases that are a little arcane and you have lots of tables in your joins, after a while it can be easy to forget which letters go with which tables. So there is a trade-off there in terms of readability and you want to be aware of that. So now let's move on to joining three tables. And this is really where you start wanting to use aliases because the more tables you have in your SQL, the bigger your SQL statements get, and the easier I think it is to manage once you can alias. So what we have here is three tables. We're going to create a query where we're pulling columns from each of these tables. Now we already know how to do a join with two tables. In fact, through some of our examples, we've already done a join where we've joined person with person phone. And then we've also done an example where we joined person phone with phone number type. And you can see that I've put these queries down here below. So we had a query where we got the phone number and the person type name from the person phone and we joined, on, we joined on person phone type. We did that as an example. 
We've also done an example where we've got the first name, the last name, and the phone number from person and person phone. So the big question is, is how can I write a join that pulls all this together? And the simple answer is, is that we can have more than one inner join clause in our SQL. And I'd like to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to start out and I'm going to select from person inner join on person phone. And then we'll do our join clause. So this should look very familiar. I'm going to indent this out a little bit. I know this is going to come out to here. This inner join is going to, I'm going to move this out. And we'll move this out. So, so far what we're doing is we're going to join the person table to person phone. And we're going to do it on business entity ID. Now, what we're going to do is go and join from person phone to phone number type. And to do that, I just add another inner join clause. And I'll alias that as PT on, and now I can say um, person phone dot phone number type ID equals PT dot phone number type ID. So as you can imagine what we're doing is we're linking a person to their phone number using their unique ID which is the business entity ID. And then when we're on the phone number to know what type of phone number it is we're going to link to the phone number type and then we'll get the name. So now let's add in those columns so we can display that information. So we'll get the person first name. Let's get the person last name. Let's bring in the phone number and then the type of phone number. And then what I can do is, is say as I can give that column an alias so it gives it a, maybe a little more uh, meaning. Let's run the query. So now we're bringing in the first name and the last name from the person table, the phone number from the phone number table, and then the type from the phone number type table. So here's the first table, person. We're joining to person phone. And that's where we get the phone number. We're linking on business entity ID because we're using the person to link to what their phone number is. And then we're doing a second join. We're going to link in phone number type. And the main reason we're doing this is we need to understand what type of phone number we have on the phone num person phone record we know there's a phone number type ID so we're going to use that as our match to look up and bring in the phone number type record and the reason we're doing that is so that we can get the phone type name and display that as the phone number type so now that you've seen this as a query I'm going to go back to our slide and show you how this is all related and we'll walk through it again on the slide. The three tables that we join together along with the SQL that we use to do so. So our objective was to display the person, their first and last name, their phone number, and then the type of phone they have listed. To do this, we use the person's business entity ID, which is their unique identifier, 
to link to the person phone record. At this point, we may bring back one or more phone record for that person. Now we need to understand what type of phone we are talking about within the listing. To understand that, we use the phone number type ID to link to the, the phone number type table to retrieve the name. This is shown in the SQL where we're selecting the first name and last name from person, the person phone phone number, and the person phone number type. These are all aliased. You'll see that there are, is the main table, person, alias with a P, and then I have two join clauses, one to person phone, and another join clause to person phone type. Also notice that these clauses, there's the um, join condition where we are in one case joining on business entity ID and in the second we're joining on phone number type ID. So as you can see joining between two tables and three tables is not that much different. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in the next.